another one. This is the big show, the big thing. It's called I Am Sure Sports and I am Omar Stennett. I'm your host today. Yeah. And there are some things that I am sure about. Listen. I have a subscriber and he makes comment and he said that he was going to bring the humble pie. So I'm going to call him out. His name is Nick. And you need to go in the comment section and say, Nick, bring the humble pie. So he can stuff it in his face. That's what I'm waiting on. I'm a man of my word. He promised me that he was going to bring the pie. And whenever he brings the pie, I will put it in my face as I said. Remember that. So go on the channel. I am sure sports. It's on YouTube. Subscribe, 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 subscribe. I, 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 I. Make sure. Now, we want to dive into some other football stuff and some other things associated with sports on a global level in today's episode. So let's begin. Let's talk about what is happening in Europe. As you know, Bayern Munich uh, continues to increase their lead in the Bundesliga. And, and so from now, we can select. I am sure sport is sure about who the winners will be of the top leagues in Europe. Do you want to know? Do you want to know? All right? So let me help you because some of you don't know. And if you don't know, no, you know. I'm sure. Number one. In the German Bundesliga, in first place, it will be the one and only, the always winning, the Bayern Munich. Yep, 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 yep. Easy selection. Hands up if you agree. <laughs> I know you do. All right, you can put your hands on those. Thank you. In, dun, 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 in Spain, in the La Liga. In first place, it will be no other than Madrid. That is not the real Madrid, but the Atletico Madrid. <laughs> real Madrid fans, put your hand down. Atletico Madrid will win the La Liga. All right, all my BPL fans, let me give you the selection for the BPL. In the English Premier League, the champions for the 2020-2021 season will be no other than Manchester City. If you're Manchester United, put your hand down. You ain't winning nothing this year. Next year will be your year because I think you have a very good squad. But this year, City. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, all right. Let's go down into Italy. Italy, the Italian Syria is the hardest one to call. Because Juve is not done, Inter is not done, AC is not done, Roma is not done, and Napoli is not done. However, I and I, I am going on a limb. And I believe that this year, Juve will be surprised. I think this Inter Milan team is going to win Syria, I am sure. Cristiano Ronaldo fans, focus on the Champions League. You won't win it because City will. But this year, Syria, I think your team this year, Juve, is a little too old. Old. You haven't integrated enough young players in that team. I think that is the challenge. So I am going. I I I I I I am I am sure that it will be a close battle at the end of the season. Think it will be no more than three points or four points that separates 
first place, second place, and third place in the serial. Very easy to you know what's going to happen in France. PSG is going to win over there again. That's what's going to happen. I think some of the hardest stuff to call is in, in almost all the leagues is who gets the Champion League spots. I think like in England, it's going to be such a tough call. Like who is going to get the champions? Take City out. So there are three Champion League spots left up for grab. You have Leicester, Manchester United, Chelsea, Liverpool, Aston Villa, Everton, Tottenham, Arsenal. I know people have said Arsenal. Yes, Arsenal. Yes, Arsenal. Yes, Arsenal. Yes, Arsenal. Yes, Arsenal. I think right now is what you call Arsenal time. Right now to the end of the season. Look me in the eyes. You are going to see some football from Arsenal that you are going to wonder where was this in December? But Arsenal is the February to be a team. Do you remember there was a time when Arsenal would lead the Premier League all the way up to February and then they just fall out of Champions League, fall out of the FA Cup and just fall out of the top four in the latter years of Arsene Wenger. Now things have turned. Now we are all the way down in the bottom of the barrel in the early parts of the season. But like last year, at the ending of the season last year when Arteta came in, at the end of the year, do you remember what happened? Arsenal went on a run. Woo woo! That landed them even the FA Cup. And I am sure. Because they are. Because they are my side still. <laughs> yes! My side. I am sure that they're going to go on a run. Now, they may not get into the top four. But they are going to be challenging for it. So I do I believe though that two spots are already sure. Chelsea and City. Yeah. So only two spots are left. No, no, no. No, no, no. Can you imagine? If Liverpool don't make it to the Champions League. Oh my golly. So, so if Liverpool makes it. You have one spot left. Will it be Man U? Or Leicester? Listen it's because we don't have a lot of Leicester fans. But we must be honest. That Leicester is playing good football. And the last time Leicester were ignored at the same point of the season, people were not paying them attention. You remember what happened? They went on and they won the Premier League. Do not underestimate this Leicester team. I be warned. Be warned. This Leicester team Missed out on the Champions League. Try and remember. On the last day of last season. To Manchester United. Be warned. Be warned my people. So. If Chelsea and City takes two spots. That leaves two spots and the battle is on between Leicester, Everton, West Ham, Aston Villa, Liverpool, Manchester United, Tottenham and Arsenal. And all of these teams have to play each other again 
except Arsenal don't have to play Manchester United. Most of these teams have to play each other. So points are going to be dropped. I am sure. Listen, I'd love to know. Comment. What do you think? If you're a Manchester United fan, you know, you know I, 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 I like what I see at Manchester United, but what is your realistic expectation of them? Tell me. If you're a Liverpool fan, given what you have seen so far this season, what is the realistic expectation of Liverpool? The resurgence of Chelsea. Tell me, Chelsea fans, what is the realistic expectation? Go on the channel, man. Tell us something. Make a comment, and I will respond. Don't cuss me out. Don't cuss me out. Me just, me just give me. You understand me? I'm just giving my perspective. And my perspective, really a good perspective, look into it, analyze it. Analyze it. You want to analyze it. Fix it up, dress it up. Sit down. Don't just get emotional, but get analytical. And tell me, if you are not as sure as I am sure about Brian Muni, about PSG, about Inter Milan, about Atletico Madrid, about Manchester City. So if I get five out of six right, trust me with the sixth one. If I am so sure about those and you are sure with me, then the sixth one we're no more sure together. Come on now, do the math. The probability of I being wrong given I get five out of six, the probability of I being wrong on the sixth one are very low. I am sure. Now we go discuss two things primarily today. We're going to talk about some West Indies cricket. We're going to talk about uh, Manchester City. In particular, as we look at the Barclays Premier League or the EPL English Premier League. So let's dive right into it and discuss West Indies cricket. Now, West Indies defeated Bangladesh in the second test and took the series, the test series that is, they did horribly um, bad in the one days, but they won the test series uh, two to zip. That's 2-0. West Indies defeated Bangladesh in Bangladesh. And many thought that this was a weakened uh, test team that went up against Bangladesh's best team. And those were the conditions. Bangladesh are one place ahead of the West Indies. So all people from the Caribbean, I believe, including me, were sure that the West Indies team would at best draw a game but lose the series they have surprised all of us every single one of us are surprised kyle mears man man made a double century rakim conwell took a whole lot of wickets he got the most wicket as a west indian bowler we saw azari joseph making 80 and kuma bonner he won player of the series. Craig Brathwaite, who was the standing captain because Jason Holder was unavailable. Uh, I mean, he made some very good decisions. We saw young, new wicket keeper Joshua De Silva uh, carried on his good form from the tour in New Zealand. We saw Jeremy Blackwood play a solid in it. And so, so many we saw. Uh, Jamal Warrican took some wickets and so so many good performances across the board and so we must commend this young West Indies team but I don't want us to to fool ourselves because many are suggesting that because they have won this series all of these players have an automatic place in the West Indies side because there were some players who opted not to go. I held that view as well. But if we were to do that, it would mean that we would not be rewarding players based on their performances anymore. We'll be rewarding them 
um, based on this principle that we are punishing some people and so we're going to reward these guys by keeping them in the team. Here's what I believe. The people who performed well must keep their place. So I expect that the series against Sri Lanka that begins in March of this year, that the Rakim Cornwall, the Kyle Mears, the, the German Blackwood, Craig Bratwick, Joshua De Silva, uh, Alzari Joseph, the, the Shannon Gabriel, Jamal Warrican, these guys who performed well must be in that first test, must be based on the fact that they did well in Bangladesh. Now, there are a couple of persons who their performances were not good and they must be taught a lesson. They must be dropped and go and work on their game and we bring in new persons. Now, we may not want to go back to the old guys who chose not to go on the tour and we could look at getting in some youngsters. But I believe like John Campbell has gotten enough chances. I'm a Jamaican, he's a Jamaican. And, and, and he has been failing. He failed in England, he failed in New Zealand, and he has failed in Bangladesh. He needs to step aside and we bring in someone else who can open or we promote one of the persons in the team now to the opening position and bring in uh, the former captain Jason Holder. Jason Holder, of all the persons who decided not to go, I believe had the best excuse per se. Because his thing was not, was this. Listen, I have been in so many bubbles, I needed a break. I'm asking for a break for this series and I'm available. No, he is the second best. In fact, uh, before the New Zealand series, he was the number one all-rounder in terms of the ICC rankings. He's now the number two all-rounder. He cannot be available and then we decide we're not going to use him. Once he's available and he is performing, he should be in the team. Whether or not he should be captain is a different question. I think um, he may not be or should not be the captain, but he should be in the team. All right? So that means Mosley, Shane Mosley, and John Campbell will lose their place. We can also bring back uh, was Ralston Ross, Chase. Ralston Chase took some time off as well, but he was performing. So he can be brought back into the team. As for the rest of players that did not go, like Hetmeyer, I don't think he has a space in the team anymore unless he ups his game. Uh, Darren Bravo, I don't think he has an automatic spot in the team because... Nkuma Bonner, I believe, can play the same role that he plays. And Nkuma Bonner did do some bowling. So unless Bravo puts up great performances and the form of Nkuma Bonner declines, he will have a tough time getting into the West Indies test team. Uh, that's my thought concerning that. Right? The bowling kind of works itself out. We will use Kemar Rose, Alzari Joseph, uh, um, Shannon Gabriel and there is young Holder and then there is a captain Holder who is an all-rounder. If, if you ask me what would be my 11 if everyone is fit here is my 11 for the Sri Lanka the first test against Sri Lanka Craig Bratwaite would be my captain and Craig Bratwaite would be uh, one of the openers All right, along with him I would have to make some changes to the batting order because now I'm going to take out John Campbell. I'd bring the silver, Joshua the silver, the wicket keeper to open with Craig Bratwick. We are playing at home and I believe he has the temperament to, 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 to open the inning. Um, a very good batsman, he plays the new ball, he's able to, 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 to play spin well. Um, so I would open with him. I would put in Kuma Bonner at three. All right. Kyle Mears at four because Mosley is going to be dropped. So that's, that's, that's four right there. Then I have Ralston Chase at five. Then I have Jeremy and Blackwood at six. Jason Holder at seven. Rakim Cornwall at eight. 
Shannon, Gabriel, 9, Kemar Roach, 10. And because it is Antigua and Alzari Joseph is from Antigua, I would include him in the first test because the pitch in Antigua, I understand, takes some pace. So that would be my 11 against Sri Lanka. Right, Warakan would still be a part of the squad, but I wouldn't play him in this first game. This is how I'd go because it's two tests, and all you need to do, you know, is really win the first one, you can't lose the series. And so that's the 11 I would use. Right, I hope the West Indies team take my advice because I am sure that if they do, <laughs> we will defeat Sri Lanka when that comes around. Let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know what, what would be your 11 for the first test against Sri Lanka. What in my 11 do you disagree with? I am sure that when you hear what I have to say, you are going to be as sure as me that this is the best way. I know that. I know. I know you're going to try to go around it, beat around it, find an argument. But when it comes back to the, the main thing, you're going to agree with me. I am sure. All right, let's jump into the, the BPL a little. Uh, man, Manchester City continues to increase their lead in the BPL. They are seven points ahead of Leicester City, Manchester United, with a game in hand. I don't see them losing the title from here. I think they're going to break some barriers this season. If you don't know this, let me help you. Manchester City is in the finals of the Caribou Cup. They are still in the FA Cup. They are still in the Champions League and they are leading the Premier League. If they were to win all four, it would be the first time an English team has won all four. The closest to that would be Manchester United when they won the treble. I think City has the potential to do it. I think they have the players to do it. And I believe that this season in particular, they are going to win the Champions League. I don't, I don't see the team that is playing the kind of football. Bayern Munich is conceding so many goals if you watch their games. PSG is good on their good day and then terrible on a not so good day. Liverpool, um, you know, though, though they defe defeated RB Leipzig in the first leg of their uh, round of 16 tie. I don't see them without Van Dijk and Gomez um, going further into this. Juve not having a good season. Real Madrid, I think, gets knocked out in the round of 16. And Barcelona is basically out. So I don't, I don't see how City... In fact, I think the team that probably would give City the, the toughest challenge is if they were to meet Chelsea. Because, again, let me say this. Um, Thomas Tuchel is a, a tactical genius. Uh, you would have noticed that since he has been at Chelsea, they have not lost a game and now they are in the top four. And so look out for them. I've been, I've been warning you. I've been warning you. Right? So, so look out for them because I think they are the team that probably could ch challenge uh, Manchester City. Whether or not they want to try to win all four is the next thing. They may, they may give up on the FA Cup to focus on the Champions League. I don't know. But I don't see them um, losing anything this season that they really want to go after. So I am, I am selecting them to win all four. I know it sounds very difficult, but I'm sure it is possible. I'm not a Manchester City fan, but they are playing a good football. They outplayed Liverpool in the second half of the game. Though people are going to say, listen, there were some mistakes by Alisson, the goalkeeper, Alisson Becker, but understand that it, it is the pressure that bus pipe. It is the pressure that caused them to make the mistake. Listen, people don't just make mistakes. People make mistakes primarily when they are under pressure in sports. And so I think the pressure that Alisson was put under is what caused him to make those mistakes and sit. Not every team capitalizes on mistakes, but City capitalized on those mistakes. So credit must be given to City. And people don't talk about Liverpool played bad. No. City capitalized on the errors that they forced Liverpool into. That's how it works. 
That's how it works. And we have to see it that way. So I am sure that City is going to win the Carberry Cup because they have Tottenham. Tottenham can't beat them. They're going to win the FA Cup. They're going to win the Champions League. And they are going to win the Premier League. You want to bet? I don't bet. But if I were a betting man, I'd put some love on that. But I don't bet. I don't gamble. I don't gamble because gambling, you know, it, it, it's not love. Why do I say that? Because when you gamble, for you to win, everybody else have to lose. You know, say, God don't want no losers. He wants all of us to be winners. And so, gambling don't feel good because somebody has to lose. And we don't want nobody to lose. We want everybody to win, 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 win. I am sure. So remember, check out our content. Like, share, subscribe, follow, make a comment, help us. We want a thousand subscribers on our YouTube channel. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Subscribe. So I am sure that City will win all four. And I am sure that West Indies, if they select the 11 that I put forward, I am sure that we will win the two tests against Sri Lanka in March. I am sure. See you when I see you. And if I don't see you because I wasn't supposed to see you, I am sure.